All right, so today we are going from Aokino, which is North Taranaki, where we are now. Uh, according to this, 520 k's. I think it's a little bit further because we're gonna go north, uh, all the way up to a place called uh, Kirikiri. So it's gonna be a big trip for us. Um, we will stop in Auckland on the way, get some lunch, and then, uh, yeah, get to the winterless far north, as they call it. So we're in Auckland, Takapuna, Auckland. So halfway, we've been driving for what, nearly four hours now. What'd you say, Rebecca? I said it's warm. It's warm, 26 degrees, and we're going here for lunch. 26.5. Street Organics. Classic beef burger, gluten-free, paleo option. And oven baked kumara chips. Last leg, I think it's, what, how far does it say? Three and a half hours. So now we're going all the way up there. And we are here after 538 k's, seven and a half hours of driving. We made it. We're staying down there tonight. It's so peaceful here. So many birds, but at the same time, it's like so quiet and calm. All right, morning and all. So, uh, had a pretty good sleep last night. Hit 26% deep sleep, which is amazing based on my aura ring data. Given um, had a couple of wines and stayed up quite late and you know, was under artificial light and everything like that. So uh, feeling pretty good today. Just had a big breakfast. And today we're gonna to be looking around this property. Uh, it's a 90 acre property. Um, here, about 20 minutes north of Kirikiri. The reason why we came up here is um, to potentially look at this as a eco-village set up. You know, we heard about this opportunity uh, and this guy that had had this kind of interest so um, yeah, we thought we'd come up and check it out. Alright, we're gonna check out some of these, uh, some of the crops that grow up here. Look at this. Bananas. Lots and lots of bananas. So much that they've had to prop up the tree. That's pretty cool. Don't get bananas in uh, New Plymouth and Taranaki. We've got kale. Spring onions over there. Tamarillos, passion fruit. It's a pretty cool setup, huh? The local beach, like two k's from from the property we're looking at. Sand's really nice and soft. And it's not like the black sand on the west coast, so it's nice. Apparently, it's really good fishing here as well, so it's cool. But unfortunately, the day is kind of overclouded, overclouded, overcast. But uh, yeah, it's a nice spot otherwise. So that's a wrap. We're heading home, heading back to Taranaki after our top of the North Island um, visit. And it was, um, it was an interesting trip. The place was, yeah, it was good to see it in person because we'd been looking at it uh, online and, and speaking to the owner a few times. So it was good to uh, check it out and, and, and check out the beach and see the area. Um, leaves us with a lot to think about. So that's good. Uh, but now, yeah, we're, we're, we're halfway home. I've actually been driving for four hours already, so just quickly did a switch row. So now Rebecca's in the driving seat. Vroom, 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 vroom. She's already um, broken the speed limit five times. No, she hasn't. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, that's the wrap of the trip. 
and um, yeah. So we're back home from our 1,400k weekend getaway, and Rebecca's hungover. Yep. <laughs> And I'm tired and I'm packing and I've got a lot of things to do. So, uh, so we got takeout, but uh, this is how we do takeout. So we head to the local uh, Indian joint. We both like our curries. But instead of, um, instead of getting the curries, the hot curries put in a plastic container like they usually do, we actually go down and, and take our own glass dishes and ask them to, to put it in there for us. Seems a little bit silly and they, they asked, why? And uh, what did you say, Rebecca? Surprise me. So yeah, that's the uh, Alex Fergus approved version of takeout. And um, if you're wondering why we do that, it's just because of the, the plastics in the container. Um, if you read my article, how toxins are making you fat or something like that, I, I talk about how plastics, especially when heated, you know, plastics like um, the BPA and stuff, leach into the food, get into the body, cause all sorts of health issues. So I'm not too worried about the, the food as such here. Yeah, I actually know this this food, the, the curry is actually really good. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. So it is a bit of a, a treat when we're feeling a little bit over cooking. Yeah, it's the small things like that that, we're, that we try and uh, keep an eye on. So yeah, there's a fun little insight or tip into the healthy world of, the, the weird and wacky world of Alex. <laughs> Okay, so a really short update with the garden today. As you can see, the tomatoes, uh, oh, tomatoes, sorry, the potatoes are, are flying. They're doing really well, so that's good because we like our potatoes. Uh, and then the other thing is the tomatoes. As you can see there, that one's coming along really well. Uh, we've got a good one coming up there. And then um, down the end there. Coming up good, so I'm actually going to spend a bit of time staking them today. Our zucchinis. Are doing pretty well. This is the biggest one, so uh, they'll be ready soon. Our very first zucchini of the year. Uh, the, uh. So yeah, I'm just gonna go steak those tomatoes, and that'll be us for gardening. So remember that wrist injury I had last week when I was icing my wrist at the end of a hard day's work at the computer? Well, I've done a bit of research on uh, ergonomic mice or mouses, mice. Anyway. Um, and there's quite a few out there, it was really cool. So I pretty much documented all that research and I published an article uh, on how to find the healthiest mouse for, for daily use. Uh, the main issue was there's some really good designs but they're wireless and you know, Bluetooth and all that. And I didn't really want that, especially when I'm at a computer for eight hours a day, like just exposed to that radiation. So um, getting the good design one for, you know, like wrist support and everything, arm support, that was also wide, was, was tricky. Plus I wanted one with a couple of buttons so I can use shortcuts and that. Anyway, I, I found one and uh, it's this here, Everluent, I think that's how you call it. Unfortunately that's bright blue, so I'm putting um, blue tech over it because it lights up the room at night time. And then, uh, yeah, it's got a couple of buttons up there and then you see the, oh, you see the three buttons on the top. Well, it's actually on the side because it sits like that. So, what that does is, it means your hand fits like this. Cool, huh? So hopefully that stops my uh, wrist injuries. So today I'm gonna do uh, a Dan John Mess Made Simple Complex. All right, so it's out of his book, Mess Made Simple. This isn't meant to be a workout in itself. It's sort of an add-on. Uh, it's all about time under tension. And uh, I've got 60 kilos on the bar. I'm gonna do eight cleans, uh, eight military presses, eight back squats, eight front squats, eight deadlifts, and then I'm gonna do a couple of clap push-ups at the end. The idea is you don't stop until you finish that. You just keep going, you keep the weight on your back, you keep the weight pressing and all that stuff. So that was the first one. Uh, as you probably saw, the pressing was my weak point. Uh, and also grip. I was just losing it at the end there with those front squats. I, uh, I've lost my wrist wraps. It's usually come in handy on those, on those front squats and uh, just keeping the wrist intact. Anyway, that's something you can try. Good way for 
getting a bit of time under tension, especially after strength there, and um, getting the heart rate up as well.